muy buenas amigos y amigas de youtube aquí mister jonathan y vamos a jugar a Crystals. y en el anterior capítulo no fue nada más que un capítulo introductorio el cual em empezamos con una especie de prólogo donde nos enfrentamos a los duendes y a las hermanas volcanos después como una especie de, ad de adelanto o algo por el estilo y después comenzamos con la historia en, un or en el orfanato de Narim en donde una rana tomó la rosa y Crisbel fue a buscar a esa dicha, a dicha rana y recuperar la rosa y una vez que le recuperó vio el, el vitral y así consiguió sus poderes y, ya, y después de eso la rana empezó a hablar yes. y al parecer como que fue lo que desconcertó a Crisbel normal porque bueno, es normal que se desconcierte una vez que ya haya descubierto los poderes sin siquiera darse cuenta a, a dos penas darse cuenta de que apenas que tiene ciertos poderes y para aclarar lo sucedido vamos a, a esta cabaña de al lado Here we are. He lives just over there in that hut. Perhaps you should let me do the talking. Ahí como ven en esos cristales que hay en la pantalla el de la izquierda del pasado y el de la derecha se ve el futuro y en el centro el presente y vamos a explorar por aquí primero antes de ir a esta cabaña a no ser que de pronto no encontremos algún cofre o algo por el estilo sí. y bueno aquí es para la siguiente pantalla pero lo haremos en más adelante ahora Vamos a ir a la cabaña. Wilhelm, answer the door. Go away, I'm busy. Open the door, you pompous child. We have important business. Matthias? Huh. Idiot frog. Y aquí viene Wilhelm. You're a child. Manners. You're speaking to a revered time mage. Now, who might you be? Crispell. Um, sir? Crispell has opened both crystals of time. Ridiculous. Impossible. Why not even I have been able to? Yet it has happened. No. No, no, no. There's something else at work here. Can someone please tell me what's going on? Patience! I am Wilhelm the Wise. You, it seems, are a time age, as am I. And while my powers have led to my youthful appearance, yours are the gift to see possibility. Possibility? I thought it was the future. Incorrect. It is a possible future. Perhaps a practical demonstration will help. Take this seed and plant it over there. Ya ahí tenemos como una especie de tutorial sobre los cristales. Parece, parece que la animación de cuando siembra es la misma que cuando poda la, podo la rosa. What do you see in the future? A tree. It's growing from the seed I planted. Exactly. A glow fruit tree to be specific. But take care. It will only grow if you care for it. Otherwise it will wither and die. So if I do something in the present, I can affect the future. Obviously. Has that not always been the case? 
Now, however, you have the ability to see future possibilities, so choose your actions accordingly. I should use this to check up on Mother Superior and my sisters. They'll be wondering where I've gone. Thank you, Wilhelm. Yes, yes, go to your sisters. You've given me much to ponder, young mage. Y listo. Y ahí ya apenas vamos descubriendo los, los, el poder de los cristales. Uno ve el pasado, como dije antes, otro ve el presente y el otro un posible futuro. Dependiendo de las acciones que haga. Es como una demostración de lo que lo que hagamos puede afectar el futuro. Y listo. Vamos de vuelta a Narim. Ahorita que caigo no se ve el... Como el nombre en el minimapa. Y sí. Por si hay, tienen curiosidad... Una vez que Crystal descubra haya despertado los poderes, ahí se hará un logro. Mm, al parecer como que no puedo ver los logros. Bueno, no pasa nada. En fin, sigamos. Y ahí nos encontramos de nuevo con la madre superiora. Crisbell, you had me worried. Mother Superior, you're okay. The orphanage is still here. Well, of course. What's got you so excited, child? Did something happen? No, I mean, not yet. I went to get my rose, then Matthias showed me how I could... Matthias? Yes, he... He was just here. I need to find him. At least give me the rose you spent all morning looking for. Y yes, Mother Superior. Now, go find your friend. And don't take all day. You still have to prune these roses. Bueno, ya hemos entregado la rosa. Ah, un detalle que no he mencionado. Crisbel tenía que entregar la rosa a la Madre Superiora. I thought it best not to upset your mother superior with the appearance of a talking frog. Oh. Crispell, I am sorry if I upset you by... No, I mean, yes, but it's the orphanage. I saw its future. Abandoned. Empty. How could that happen? I do not know, but let us look around town. Perhaps your new powers can shed light on this. Y listo. Nos vamos a la plaza del pueblo. What a lovely... Y sí, esa, eh, como que Matías fue muy inteligente al no presentarse de buenas a primeras con la madre superiora porque una rana que habla puede, puede alterar a, a cualquiera. Como por ejemplo a Crystal que cuando ya despertó sus poderes que apareció eh, Matías. And only if you let it happen. If I let it happen? But... No, you're right. Y bueno, vamos a hablar con... Primero con los... Miller. Excuse me, Mrs. Miller? I think your house has a rock problem. Really? That's strange. The carpenter would have told me something about it. Maybe I'll go talk to him tomorrow. 
Maybe we should talk to him right now. Vamos a hablar con cada uno de ellos. Why would someone do this? Um, excuse me. I think your shop has rot problems. I don't have time to worry about that right now. If you want to talk rot, talk to the carpenter over to the west. De acuerdo. Vamos a hablar con el carpintero. Yeah, yeah. Good morning, I guess. Can you help me? There's a problem with the houses. A problem? Great. What did you see, girl? They're rotting away from the inside. In a few years, there won't be anything left. You saw rot on the inside. From the outside? Neat trick. Sounds like someone's been telling you stories about Ash Blight. Happened back when I was a kid. Would have lost most of the town if the old apothecary hadn't brewed up a batch of green leaf tonic. Can you make some? Do I look like an apothecary? Go ask June. She's the one who knows about this stuff. Charming fellow. Ahora vamos a hablar de nuevo con Jun. Con la boticaria June. Why would someone do this? This will take forever to sort out. Excuse me, I was wondering if you could help me. You and half the town? No, no, I can't. Someone tore the label off of my mushrooms. That sounds bad. Bad? It's terrible. One of these is red button. Good for digestion. Great on a salad. One of them is ground death cap. Even the tiniest bit could be deadly. An important distinction, wouldn't you agree? Of course, with no labels, it's impossible to tell them apart. Can't we just throw them out and make some more? Sure, of course. It would take weeks to find the mushrooms, days to prepare them. I don't have time to redo it all. My father used to do all of that. He bottled. I'm sorry. I wish I could help. Me too. It'd be nice to have help around here. Since Dad died, though, I try to keep everything the way he left it. But there are only so many hours in the day. Sorry, I've got to get back to work. No wonder she's upset. They all look alike. I suppose they d Let me try something. Ugh, I can't see them in the past at all. Allow me. Y ahí comienza el poder del cronosalto. Vamos a hacer cronosalto hacia el pasado. Y sí, Matías se vuelve un renacuajo. Just a little nudge. Vaya fuerza que tiene Matías como renacuajo. Ah, there. Well, this one has a skull on it. I imagine this is the death cap. Y listo. Ya sabemos. That sticker. I saw it today. Some kids were playing with one. De acuerdo, vamos al presente y vamos a hablar con los niños. Check out the cool sticker we found. It's a skull. You took that from June's. Do you know what you've done? It's only a sticker. You can't just take things from stores. Especially not the apothecary. Some of her ingredients could be dangerous. Sorry, Chris. Y recuperamos la calcomanía de calavera, que indica que This indica peligro. We are likely to get. Que indica peligro, como dice Don Ramón. En el chavo del ocho. Y listo. Vamos a, a hablar con June. Con June. Y a entregarle la etiqueta. We found your label. It goes on the bottle with the red lid. Where did you find it? Some kids took it. They just thought it was a cool skull sticker. I don't think they meant any harm. Of course they didn't. <sighs> What's done is done. I'll talk to their parents about this later. Thank you, Chris Bell. I really appreciate all you've done. This might be a good time to ask her about the tonic. Bien, está lo que bien acaba. 
hemos logrado recuperar la etiqueta de eh, que los niños lo tomaron sin saber que era tan importante. Alguien debieron instruirlos que las etiquetas de que la, cuando hay algo con una etiqueta de calavera significa peligro. Eh, sí. Y ahora vamos a hablar con June y a, pe a pedirle el tónico para a la madera podrida. Chris Bell, was there something you needed? Yes. Do you know how to make green leaf tonic? Ah, era tónico a verde. No, no me había dado cuenta. Bueno, de por sí no me, no me acordaba, no me acuerdo de muchas cosas, por ejemplo lo. Ah. Bueno, pues sí, muchas cosas. Of course. Unfortunately, I don't have any glow fruit in stock. It's very rare and it doesn't keep. Not many uses for it, but it's essential for green leaf tonic. Is there any glow fruit near Nareen? Maybe I can find some. I wouldn't get your hopes up, but ask Magda by the cathedral. She knows the plants in the area. My Ok, vamos a preguntarle a Magda. Good morning, Mrs. Magda. Do you know if there's any glow fruit growing nearby? Miss June thought you might. They used to grow by the lake, but I haven't seen one in ages. The seed you planted for Wilhelm, it was glow fruit. I'm sorry, dear. If you find one, let me know. They're beautiful, glowing purple and orange, and they only bloom every 10 years or so. Really lovely. Thank you, Mrs. Magda. That's just what I need. Okay, ahora sí, nos vamos de Narin hacia la cabaña de Wilhelm. Para ir por la semilla, por, digo, por la limuno. Limono. Limuno fruta. O como se llame. Y ahora. Nos vamos a donde plantamos la semilla. There's the tree I planted, but the fruit is going to take forever to grow. Then perhaps we should skip ahead, or rather, I will. Bueno, vía práctica, ya lo sabemos. Ok, y listo. Vaya, vaya. <ríe> eh, la rana Matías, como se ve en, en el futuro. Here it is. Now to bring it back to Crisper. Okay, no, vamos. You did it. It's not much though. It will have to do. Let us go see the apo. Aquí vamos. Vamos a un, a donde está la boticaria. Y listo. Ahí, aquí tienen. Ah, era limón. No. Ni Lumino fruta. No sé por qué me lío con los nombres. That will do. Give me just a minute. Here you go. There's enough only for one dose, but it's free of charge. Thank you. Y conseguimos el tónico hoja verde. Well, I finally have the green leaf tonic. I thought you would be happier. What is it, Chris Bell? There's only enough to fix one house. What can I do? Ah, yes. Even with the crystals, there's only so much you can do to help. It appears you must make a decision. How, oh, Matthias? No matter what I choose, one of the houses will be ruined. You are a time mage, Chris Bell. Decisions such as this, they will not be uncommon. Aquí viene la parte importante, las decisiones. Dependiendo a quién es, qué decisión tomemos, tal vez se desbloquee un logro. Si se la damos a los Millers, se abre un logro de fan de los Millers, de la casa de los Millers, equipo Miller, como de, como se ve. Pero si le damos a la boticaria, diría equipo boticaria. De, de por sí la, bot, eh, la botica es 
importante porque puede producir varios tónicos y todo eso. Así que vamos a dárselo a June. Crispel, what can I do for you, dear? It's your shop. It has an ash blight infection. Ash blight? Why would you think that? I overheard the carpenter talking. He thinks the number of buildings could be affected. How awful. I remember my father telling me stories about ash blight. He said it came from a spore that grew near the farms. That it spread on the wind after the big fires. Well, no time to waste. We don't have much green leaf tonic, but perhaps I can find another solution. Thank you again, Chris Bell. You're welcome, June. I'm glad I was able to help someone. Y con eso ya hemos cambiado el, el futuro, el posible futuro. Chris Bell, look. Do you see how your actions have affected the future? I suppose. But what about the Millers? Where will they live? One problem at a time, little one. Remember, most of the town remains unchanged. And we're no closer to finding out what happens to the orphan. We have more immediate issues to deal with. Look! Smoke! The farms are on fire! That's what brought Ash Blight to Nareen the last time! We've got to go! Ok, listos o no, allá vamos, vamos a las, a, al, al campo de cultivos, y sí, parece que hay un incendio en ese campo, eso es lo que propagó la plaga ceniza, uy, mira cuánto incendio, Ranga, there's nothing you can do here. I can help. Just let me. Don't be foolish. Let the soldiers do their work. And pray they're up to the task. He is right, Chris Bell. The crystals won't be enough. Quickly, we must see Wilhelm again. Okay. Aquí es donde empieza la acción. Y listo. Y con eso... Vamos a dejarlo por ahí. Si les gustó, no duden en darle un like, suscribirse si todavía no lo están, activar la campanita para recibir las notificaciones y, por qué no, compartir el video con sus amigos. Eso es todo, amigos. Aquí, Mr. Jonathan. Y nos vemos la próxima. ¡Hasta luego!